What's going on guys? Went to a couple thrift stores today. Went to three of them. As I guess that's a few, not a couple. Went to Salvation Army, a local religious based uh, thrift shop and the Goodwill and picked up some things. Let's go ahead and show you what we got. First up from Salvation Army, picked up the Saving Grace uh, DVD set. It is a series one, series two, um, paid $4.99 for that. I believe $5.99. Nope, $4.99. And let's see what else we got here. Picked up these pretty cool track pants. Vintage Nike. Uh, the gray label. Uh, size extra large. Made in Macaw. Uh, Macau. Macaw. I forget how you pronounce that. Anyways, um, $6.99 we had to pay for that. Uh, the elastic is, you know, obviously shot, but it does have the draw cord. Um, the elastic down here in the bottom is somewhat uh, springy, but it is what it is. Uh, 30 bucks on these, possibly. I don't know, 25 on this. Here's what the uh, logo is on the pant. That's what it looks like. Some uh, cracking, some flaking. Not a big deal. So, love that old school logo. I think it's only on one leg. All right, I think I'm going to take a seat for these. Pick these up at the Goodwill. These are Vietnam era boots. Let me see. We got a PJ73 right there. 773. I believe these are 1973. These are brand new. Unused. Unworn. 25 bucks is what we had to pay. That's a little bit more than I wanted to pay for these, but I think we can get some, some decent money for these. It says hi. Hi, Pauls. Let's see. Can four put a picture in there so you can see? It looks like it's a uh, Vietnam era jungle boots, and I believe seventy three should be Vietnam era. Uh, twenty five bucks. I'm gonna try to get two hundred dollars for these. Will I get it? Maybe not. Possibly so. Uh, let's just go ahead and get these out of the way since we've already showed these in the uh, one of the first clips. Really nice inside. These are, if I can get that out, floor shines. Imperials made of shell cordovan. Very nice shape. The only negative thing that I'm going to say it is a ten and a half B, which I believe that means narrow. They do look kind of narrow. My foot would never fit into something like that. I don't believe, but they look like they're in pretty darn good shape. How do you know they're shell cordovan? All right. Go ahead and cut right here because I'm going to make two parts of this. All right, how to tell if your pair of shoes is shell cordovan. Uh, first up, you want to check the numbers on the shoes. If you figure... All right, how to tell if your shoes are shell cordovan. Here's just a couple of tips and tricks and hints. You got to check the numbers on the shoes. If you suspect your shoes are shell cordovan, check the numbers. Check all the numbers. At first, I checked 641305, pulled up nothing. The important number is at the bottom, 93606. Google search, eBay search, it'll pull up all the information that you need. Next up is the feel of the shoe. Uh, it almost feels like a plastic. Hard to explain. But the real telltale sign is right here. When you see the crease right here, you just see big folds. You don't see any kind of micro creasing that you would see in another pair of leather shoes. You would see multiple, multiple creases, and you don't see that on these. So that's uh, three tips. But these shoes are amazing. I do see a little bit of wear right there, but you can take these things and get them... Um, polished up really nice. I might do that. I think I'm just going to sell it as is. Uh, 
the uh, soles are still in pretty darn good shape. Uh, that is called a cleat, that little triangle thing right there, I believe. Uh, they're in darn good shape. I'm going to try to get uh, 200 bucks for these, if not more. They're in damn good shape. Uh, $15. Um, I passed these up the first time, and I put a pair of shoes back, and I called them. And as soon as I felt it, I'm like, oh, heart started to race a little bit. I saw floor shine. I saw that. I knew they were imperial. Just quality stuff. Um, let's get to the clothes. All right, it's been a grand total of 86.42, and I get uh, these two pairs of footwear, uh, these boots, and the shoes. So that makes up 40 bucks right there. Let's go ahead and get this stuff out on a mannequin. All right, first up is a Southern Tide polo shirt. Should be the uh, skipjack, and it is. That says size 2XL. It's actually 3XL. I've done very well. Paid five bucks. Done very well with the polo stuff. 3X, 4X. Try to get around 30 bucks for this. All right, next up is this really nice polo Ralph Lauren. Some people say Ralph Lauren. I don't. Uh, size 2XL. This is 100% cotton. Paid five dollars for that. I will never pass these up for five dollars. Yeah, it's got some wear, but that's still a twenty-five dollar bill every day of the week. All right, next up is this. What's this called? All bad reserved. Um, yeah, raw blue denim company size four XL, made in Korea. It's an older one, size 4X, $5. I don't know what this is worth. I wasn't going to leave it there for 5 bucks. Try to get around 25 bucks for it. If not, still think I can get 20 plus shipping. All right, next up is this Jordan Jumpman shirt. And I paid, what, 3 bucks for this? Yeah, $3, size medium, men's. Who wouldn't pick this up? Uh, $3, I'm going to try to get 20 Try to get 25 The 20 is going to be my bottom. Plus shipping. This is a nice shirt. It's black. Not a lot of wear. Very soft. Sweet logo. All right, next up is this Mountain Dew Energy uh, Rise Energy. It's a Nike uh, golf shirt. $4.98 is what I paid. Good thing about it is brand new with tags. Uh, I don't know what it's worth. Didn't look it up. Uh, there might be a Coca-Cola. I think that's the parent company of Mountain Dew. Uh, Mountain Dew fan, Coca-Cola fan, somebody that wants this to wear to work. Who knows? Five bucks, try to get 30. Alrighty, today was definitely a good day. Got a Orlando. That is, what does that say? Who knows? Uh, Orlando Pride, Orlando Health, Orlando Soccer. Uh, size small, paid, what are we paying? Wish I wouldn't have put this on the mannequin now. Paid five bucks. I'm gonna try to get 25 for that. Alrighty, West Virginia, number seven, I think it's West Virginia. Could be Michigan. Don't know. Authentic team apparel. Plus two length, size large, nothing on the back except size seven. We paid $7.98. I'm gonna try to get 30 bucks for that. Might get it, might not. Alrighty, last but not least is this WA W A H Maker Frontier Clothing Vest. What do we pay? $298, 398 Paid $498. Size 2XL. Actually, it's a 3X. They marked it 2X. Doesn't matter. Um, these things go for around 30 bucks in this design. So that's what I'm gonna try to get. But that's it. That's my video. Pretty good day. It's been around close to a hundred bucks. Um, looking at $400 worth of shoes here. Everything else is just going to be icing on the cake. So get these shoes listed tonight. Possibly get the boots listed. Take it easy. Stay safe. See you later.